Welcome back, everybody, to another Two Tamers Talk. Look who's back from across the other pond. I am back. It is so good to be back. Three weeks was a long time to be gone. You were gone for a while. I'm still getting adjusted. <laughs> But it was actually a, a really eventful trip okay. as far as Digimon goes. So like, How so? I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get signed up for uh, regionals. Mm. Right? That was the big worry was, um, I think it was, what, the 27th the date was or something? something like and, that, yeah. and past events trying to sign up to get into these types of events where they'll sell out within minutes. Mm -hmm. Right? And I was like, my time zone's all messed up. It's going to be like in the middle of the night for me to try to wake up and do it. Um, but it worked out like there was zero issues me signing up, yep. getting my payment in. And so it's official. We're going, we are We're going. So Pasadena, California, what is that? November 12th. Uh, yeah. yeah it's November a 12th yeah. is a Sunday. So please come find us, come hang out. I'm we'll, we'll, I will, we'll all be wearing digital gate stuff. Yep. So hopefully we're identifiable and, uh, we want to hear from you guys. We want to see you and yeah. 512 people, I think. That's going to be insane. So, of, and I mean, it's not just us. It's other people on our channel, oh, too. Oh, yeah. It's no, everyone from... we got a big Wayward the crew whole going. Gang, yeah. every, a lot of people from our scene up here is going down. It's going to be incredible, man. I am so excited for it. But, you know, with all of this stuff where it comes with finally signing up for regionals, what comes with it? Testing. It's testing and playing and deciding decks and working on deck lists. And so, for me, the big thing was I wanted to work on, like, figuring out my deck list, figuring mm -hmm. out what I wanted to play. And I'm still not 100% there, and there's still a bunch of questions I have in general. So now that I'm back, it's a bunch of testing, and I want to take this opportunity to maybe apologize in advance to our fans of the channel because <laughs> content might be a little lack... I don't want to say lackluster, maybe Just a little creative. dry, a little less yeah. creative yeah. in the next couple of weeks because we really are going to put our, our focus and our priority into, into the Nationals prep. And uh, I know a lot of us have been joking, like, what kind of jank should we bring yeah. to, down to regionals? I, guilty. Um, I made a joke. I was like, I could be the best Raidenmon player at, uh, <laughs> at regionals, right? That'd be hilarious. But I, I really think I want to take this opportunity, especially since we have such a good, like, team. Mm -hmm. Like, Basil and everybody helping with the meta judgment and training and teach. It's like, it, it's too good of an opportunity to go down there and play jank. Yeah. Right? So I'm, I'm working through and trying to figure out what I want to play and... A lot of it comes with taking out some of my favorite cards that have make me really like a deck and try yeah. to play a little bit more serious and whatnot. But, you know, it, it it's good to be back. Wife's happy I'm home. I'm happy to be home. I'm, I miss doing this. Basil, you did a great job filling in for me. I know everybody loves watching you when you're on the he channel. He will be back. He will be back. He will be back. Don't worry. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 going to be a good time. But, you know, football season also started, too. So, Ooh, so my much life happening is this just month. Yeah. gone. <laughs> I'm screwed. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked to be back. And I, I was so excited to come back and film this episode specifically. <laughs> I was like, 55. I get to come back. I love doing this podcast. I love talking to you guys, especially now because meta is not normally like, I'm not a bad Digimon player. Yeah. I'm not a bad meta player. I just don't. Mm -hmm. Right. I kind of more like the jank. I kind of like learning what meta decks do so that way I can beat it with my jank. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm successful sometimes, but yeah. I really got to step up. Yeah. I, and this is time. And this is time. So I'm excited to join that, uh, join that circuit. But yeah, yeah so you I got back and you're like, so what, what'd you make? And I was just like, I'm still working on that deck. Yeah, I did. I started when I you did left. start <laughs> to make one or two fun decks that I've been kind of putting together. But the problem is, is that all the time and energy I spend in those decks mm -hmm. is time not testing meta for yeah. nationals so, yeah. or regional, excuse me. And this is uh, really, really important. But I mean, I, I, I might have a deck profile video in the next week or so that I might be working on. It just depends on what my schedule is going to be like and how how serious I am or not serious, how like in de depth I am mm -hmm. with this testing. Cause I actually am really excited for this opportunity to try to do that. But uh, guys in the comments, let us know or reach out to me on discord. What kind of deck you think I would play? Like no, my play style or whatever. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards blue flare right now. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's one you've been successful. I've with been, in the I've past. been very successful with Greymons with, with, uh, with blue flare in the past. I really like um, the aggressive swinging with level fives. I like strong the digi cross. In the right now too. It's, it counters a lot of things really well in the meta. Um, I'm just struggling with certain things. Like, how do I play Grey Knights Mon in it? Mm. I'm just kidding. Not Grey Knights Mon. <laughs> but, like, for example, I'm a big fan of the Metal Grey Mon X Antibody. Right. In the Blue Flare deck, right? And The one cost Digivolve Red? One cost, yeah, yeah. On, on the Metal Grey Mon, and then it gets plus 3k, another security check. Yeah. And Blue Flare is already such an aggressive deck, especially um, some of the videos I've been watching where they 
focus more on the aggro side, mm -hmm. but there's like no room for that card. It's hard. Right? You yeah. know, and I remember when Blue Flare first came out, I loved Cyber Dramon. You can see our early Blue Flare videos where I was playing that. It was so nice to be able to pay three and unsuspend and get a lot of extra damage that way. But the Zeke Greymon does that so much better. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't fit in this. Obviously, I wasn't going to play Cyber Dramon anyways, but, you know, that's just an I example, mean, right? right yeah. Like, and then uh, I found a really cool list a while back ago that I was playing um, before the EX set where they were doing Kaiser Nail. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun, but it's like, there is no room. It's really like, tight. The, yeah. the room is so tight. You can't do anything you want. You gotta. You really have to focus on what you want to do and do it right. So yeah. uh, hopefully uh, this makes me a better Digimon player. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's awesome to have you back. And I, I feel like, you know, everyone was talking. We're just like, well, what's Jeff going to play at regionals? What's yeah. Jeff going to play at regionals? I was like, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but when he gets back, I guarantee there's going to be a lot of testing going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we have, we have a lot of the corners of the meta kind of figured we out. We, we have, like, a Shine Gray player. We have a Belfamon player, yeah. Security Control. Yeah. I think... Yeah. I mean, I think I think you either go that or Royal Knights. That's, because that's Royal what I'm, Knights is super strong. At least in our, our locals meta right now, it is it's it's dominating. And I'm a huge fan of the zoo style decks, anyways, yeah. and so it, it fits naturally with me. And the whole Royal Knight stuff is so cool. Um, it's, it's just tough, man, because I just can't commit to anything until I actually like get some games in, get some practices in, and all that stuff. The Ro the Royal Knight stuff seems cool, but. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm being told what I have to play in a royal in a mega zoo style deck mm -hmm. like that, where I'm kind of hesitant, I'm like, ah, I don't know, I want to do that. There's some there's some good flex spots in it. That's why I yeah, like yeah. it because it's like 42 mandatory ish cards, and then, then yeah. eight you get to kind of flex around. It's kind of yeah. Nice. So I I don't know, man. I I'm torn. I'll I'll test both. Let's see what I think. Right now I'm leaning towards Blue Flare because I've just had great success with that in the past, and mm -hmm. I like it's how it answers pick. a lot of things and stuff like that. So. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll play Blue Flare without Ice Wall too. See if that will Ooh, blow some minds. Yeah. <laughs> see if you can play it without the Blazing Memory Boost. Oh How my about gosh. That? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, yeah, man. I mean, I'm just I'm so happy to be back. It's fun to get back in the swing of things. And like I said, do this podcast again. I Basil, thank you so much. Loved your guys' episodes. It turned out so good, and the interaction's been great. I've been seeing on the comments, and I made it my goal lap before I left. Try to be more involved and responsive. So I went through and made a bunch of comments and a bunch of videos and mm -hmm. uh, made a really bad pun on the, the Belfamon deck comment <laughs> where, you know, because Jacob's probably going to play that at uh, re regionals. Yeah. And that's another deck I was thinking. Um, those are those are the three decks I'm mainly bouncing between because that stuff's so good. But It is really strong. Oh, man. It's just so tough to pick one deck. Thankfully, it's not Ultimate Cup. Yeah. So I have a little bit more flexibility as far as, you know, colors and restrictions and anything I want to do, but... Well, speaking of Ultimate Cups, I mean, should we just dive into some results from this past I guess week? Yes, we can. Yeah. Let's jump. Yeah. All right. So we have two uh, Ultimate Cups results. Uh, this one is the first one. It's North America. Man, this thing popped off the screen for me. Every time you see yes. a list that has like OG BT1, BT2 cards in it, yep, you're just yep. like, oh, I like this player. <laughs> this is, how yeah. creative is this? I mean, first you see those Agamons, you're like, oh, they they play like a shine with only one more, with the yeah. you know, but nope, this is a war gray deck with Dorbrick and Ragna, super top. And we've end seen heavy. this before. We've seen. I remember we've I seen actually something like this, yeah. but not with that rowdy rocker. That and, and the Yole. card. Yes, yeah. that's the card that caught my attention. You went to the rowdy rocker. I went to the Yole because yeah. I've yet to see a good deck with Yole, and yeah. I tried. I'd like the Tamer. I really am a fan of, especially the Hawkmon Armor Rush. Mm -hmm. I tried using her because it's thematic and stuff. Mm -hmm. She's not a bad card. She's not bad, no. It's just like your room is always so tight, so it's interesting as a one-of, and you were pointing out the Rowdy Rock. I forgot what that card did. Yeah, yeah. It's And then you crazy. look at it, and you're like, wow, that's like Fireball, but instead of kill something, you have the mechanic of being able to tuck a and you still get a draw, right? You still get so, to draw. So it's almost like a blue option. Yep, yep. It's it's really cool. I mean, Rowdy Rocker was a good card when they introduced it, mm -hmm. right? It's just one of those, it kind of was hard to fit in, depending mm -hmm. on what you're doing. But I like it in this list, because you can tuck Flame Dramon into another stack, and then Dorbic with something, right? Or mm -hmm. whatever you need to do. And or you hard can, play the Dorbic. Or hard yeah. play the Dorbic, right? So that way, it increases your flexibility and your draw power. I think I would have liked to see a Security Attack Greymon. Mm. obviously they won first place so i'm not gonna sit here and judge <laughs> you and and tell you what you should or shouldn't play but it looks like a, it looks like a strong turbo line it does sure. it's a very strong turbo line and so like 
one security attack plus one Greymon to play with Rowdy Rocker just to give somebody security attack plus one like that? Why not, right? Yeah. But what do I know? So it looks like they were just going for that uh, that Flame Drummon Tuck. Yeah, yeah. It's but this looks really strong. I mean, being able to go, I mean, just getting up to those Black War Greys and the X Antibodies, those are both strong yeah. on their own. I really like the sixes that they picked. I think mm -hmm. that's a great split there. I think it's nice when, because uh, I remember the Dorbic list that, um, I don't know, it had to been like 10 episodes ago now at this point or something. It was crazy to say that, but <laughs> they say that out loud, where we had a Dorbic list on the screen for Ultimate Cup and I built it. Yeah. And I was having fun playing it, but they played like. War Gray X, War Gray, Black War Gray X, Black War Gray. And it was kind of, I don't want to say all over the place because it made sense where you could use those for Dorbic, mm -hmm. right? But this is a little bit more like confined and controlled where, yes, it does have one War Gray that a Black War Gray X cannot go on, mm -hmm. but it's one. Yeah. They still have three of the main boss, Black War Gray, two of the awesome Black War Gray Xs, yep. right? Oh, yeah, I remember it was like Galmon. I think Galmon was in that other list too mm -hmm. or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, where yeah. this is like a little bit more compressed concise, and to yeah. the point and really delivers strongly so no this is a really big cool fan thing. of this list for sure same all right and i'm sure you're as big of a fan of the oh, next god. list oh god i don't even, I'm, I'm leaving i'm going back <laughs> uh mirage is back in the top top four with uh with a pretty standard i would say pretty standard list nothing on I this would, list yeah. kind of really popped off i mean the hammer sparks are cool you don't see hammer sparks in every deck yeah um, i wonder if uh sorai is specifically better in um the format where you have all the colors instead of like the ultimate cup so. format, right? Like I, shine gray is probably a threat in this format. Um, it, cause you could very easily mono color yellow, right? Mono color red. Yeah. You're right? just down. They, they limited the punch mark is down to one. I yeah. Believe, but so. you know, it's so tough. it's like you, and you're not going against Royal Knights. So you don't yeah. really need the sore eye. So obviously full moon it meter impact makes a lot of sense. Right. So, but it's, it's That's still one like of those Quartzmon, things. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good card, man. I mean, obviously the Galgamon deck is a great deck. Yeah. It's a very strong deck. It's sweet, so. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then another one. Another one. Is, are they the same list? Uh, uh, no. Nope. No ice walls in this one. And this one yeah, Okay, runs... this is the best. Oh, no, that has one ice wall. Or not ice wall. I'm sorry. Uh, hammer spark. No hammer, hammer spark. sparks. And this one runs the arrow V, which That's I think right. is smart because it's, it's the one that gives you uh, security attack plus one. Yep. You have eight or more, and obviously that's what this deck do. So, I mean. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, no, too, when uh, you compare not, no. the level threes of the two lists, whereas the third place, right, is playing three of the Madogi Betamon mm -hmm. to stop kind of like the memory gain. Yeah. But if you look at the top two lists, none of those decks are gaining that much memory. Yes, Just Hammer Spark, me Blue Memory Boost, right, yeah. are there. Don't get me wrong, right? But I like the fact that the first and the second list didn't really have to focus on defensive level threes to try to worry about their opponent yeah, I'm, I'm curious if this floodgates uh slowed down the opponent at all i'd be know. curious to know that but obviously you would think looking at this list yeah i should probably play madoki betamon yeah all right let's jump to the next one this one i was happy about this is leo force yeah Four. buddy i love this list um, I like the Leomon package. I think it's a it's a lot of fun. I took it out in my normal Old Force list, but yeah. I think in Ultimate Cup, it's really strong. Being able to pull out those blockers for free, draw cards every time your opponent attacks, draw a card with Jerry. A lot of times, you're just missing pieces in Old Force, and Jerry helps a lot. Sad that she's a four cost, so you really want to be able to play her for free if, when you can with the Old Force. But yeah, I mean, I, th I think with the way Leomon's going, I think the heavy Leomon's been doing well in Japan mm -hmm. over and uh, uh, maybe in the future we'll get another Jerry, mm -hmm. a little bit cheaper that can yeah. do some better stuff or whatever to help the Leomon tribe because I think it's a popular tribe. Yeah. You know, I think for sure. But seeing this one of Full Moon Meteor Impact, and I know you've sent me your Old Force list a couple times in the past couple weeks. Yeah. Are you thinking about putting that in now? No. Yeah, it's I a tough with, call, right? I, it's a tough call. I went with the top end. I think I went with, um, for my two top end cards, I went with a um, Mirage Burst. Yep. And oh, that's right. I forgot you did that. It's, it's pretty good for five, potentially cheaper. And then I just put one Death X back in because Death X is just too good of a card. I know. Oh, it's really hard not to just how it's pretty hard to justify not having that card. In, and like, especially in this format, obviously, he knows you can't put Death X in the ultimate cup list. I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. more asking him about your old force list in general. So. Yeah, no, it's a, it's still it's still a work in progress. It's a lot of fun. It's still a pet deck I play with. But uh, well, it's a great thing about this channel, man. All of our decks are always under that continuous improvement. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. All right. So let's let's go to the what is it? Latin America. The next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mirage took this one, too. 
Yep, yep. Not a lot to talk about on this list. This is pretty pretty much 100% tribal, minus the Kuma mod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is just <laughs> everything. I mean, technically, Ice Wall and Blue Memory Boost don't have Galgamon and Digimon on the artwork. Okay. So that's not tribal, right? Yeah. But still three and three with the Thomases. Yeah, yeah. Always interesting to see that Kumamon over the Lanamon. I think that's just a style choice. Yeah, yeah, Lanamon yeah. is so much well, better. The but... artwork, alternate art for the Kumamon is really nice. It is really oh, good. It that, is really what good. What was that, the uh, Royal Knights Bind? No, it wasn't the Royal Knights Bind. It was in that same generation. It was in like one of those box. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You haven't checked your Premium Bandai in a while? Jump on Premium Bandai. Make sure you're not missing out on some of these awesome alt arts. Get them for a decent price, so you yep. don't have to pay a stupid price. The pre-order for Diaboromon just expired in August. Oh, I might have missed it. Yeah, the next one is was... another one of the little uh, D-scanner thingies, and it has the... Uh, other D-scanner? Yeah, and it has the green, blue, Davis, and Ken, the Imperial. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. so in the same style as the Takato and the Ko cool. Koji. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So. But so once jump again, on a hundred and some dollars. Double check. Yeah. And uh, if you use Facebook, follow Digimon Facebook page. They're really good at announcing the premium Bandai stuff. So, yeah. If not, sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Next one. Yes. Bloom Lord. This is, I'm just kind of surprised we didn't see this in uh, North America as one of the top four. It, it's in and out. It's like a roll know? of the dice, right? Yeah. I think the Ultimate Cups are, are pretty... I mean, it's... You said Basil played in the North America Ultimate Cup? He did. Man, it would have yeah. been awesome to have him on the... Talk to him. About I think we're trying to get him back next week. Next week. So, um, gotcha. uh, well, teaser there. So you, we can teaser. talk about his ultimate cup uh, performance yes. next week. Okay. Yeah. But we have Bloom Hydra. Yeah. Um, I mean, Hydra is limited to one, as far as I know. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah. I mean, everything else is pretty standard. They do run the five eggs, so yeah. they like the cocoa, but they still prefer the Argo over yeah. it. Yeah. And sometimes you see it where it's four cocoa, and I think I like this egg split more I, I i'm too attached to the argo yeah it's so nice i mean obviously the memory denier helps stop that yeah. efficiently so. yep. yep yep all right moving on moving all right red up. hybrids and this deck is one of the ones that i'm the most terrified of in the entire game right now. <laughs> it is so, so fast. terrifying man. if you brick and you give them an extra turn you're just done you're just like oh great i just lost it's all consistency yeah. i mean yeah. even the non-ultimate cup version of this deck is literally like this and a couple bocos and yeah. it's pretty close to this yeah. Like you take out the solar mod, you put in Bocos, and you just go. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 really strong. I, we always run into it at locals, and it is it's, it's mean. I mean, the Crimson Blaze too stops mean. a lot of. I mean, yeah. that's really good against. I mean, obviously not Ultimate Cup, but it's really good against Crimson Royal Blaze Knights. Shuts it's, down all of my favorite style decks. Yeah, always, yeah. always shuts them down. <laughs> at least for a turn. Yep. Yep. All right, fourth place. Alpha Mon. Alpha Mon. Haven't seen this in Ultimate Cup results for a little while. What did we travel in time? I don't know. <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's still a really strong deck. I mean, I've played it against it a couple times in the last couple weeks at locals. And uh, once you kind of get the feeling for how it runs, you can kind of tech against it a little bit. But the aggression with the two Zubagon punches is scary, considering how, this, yeah. how much this thing on suspense. It's going to clear all your security in like one swing. <laughs> it is nasty. Yeah. Uh, with the right inheritables under it, obviously. But, yeah. Big fan of this list. It's and cool. the protection that it gets is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Prevents yeah. it from being your turn by discarding cards. Old school metal cannon down there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, this deck is so tribal in such a good way. You know, it's yeah. like, it's crazy that they don't play any of the, um, the uh, level five decks, Doru Greymon. But you don't need it. Mm. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, you have your level fives. You got good choices there. So, if it's mm. interesting for sure, but... All right. Yeah. So I know there's a bunch more Ultimate Cups. I, I think Bandai's doing a good job at, at keeping of the event. competitive scene just rolling month to month to month to month. There's well, like Ultimate I said, cup, too, Ultimate I was cups, like stressed regionals. that I wasn't going to be able to sign up for um, uh, regionals. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't fill up right away. It no. didn't. And I think that's a good sign of the fact that they are giving us more events and more opportunities for everyone to play yeah. in, right, and making things fair to where – it's not like, hey, if you don't wake up, you know, 30 minutes beforehand and you don't have like three computers open, you can't get in or whatever. Yeah. Right. Well, it's so also, it's, it's an in person one. So it's yeah, a little bit yeah. different. There's a little yeah. bit more commitment to it. It's not just like, True. oh, I got to wake up and sit my ass at my computer. Yeah. Yeah. For you a night. I just have to, yeah. So it's, it's, it's literally fly, fly yeah. travel, lodging, all that stuff. So, because I mean, I would venture to say there's probably not 512 people in Pasadena that want to play Digimon. So there's a lot of travel involved. Um, so I'm excited though. So we got a good crew rolling down there. Yeah, we're we gonna do. get an Airbnb, hang out for a couple of days, just do a ton of yeah. testing. I'm gonna take 
camera or two. We'll get some good vlogs. Yeah, like we'll I said, uh, jump in the comments stuff. or let us know on Discord, Facebook, however you guys communicate with us in the past. Let us know if you want to see like specific content as we get ready for this event or thought process or meta testing, or deck building, whatever it is. We haven't committed to anything yet. We mm -hmm. haven't talked about doing anything. And I don't want to just leave you guys with no content, but it's going to kind of feel like we're focusing strictly on, well, on setting up for this. Right? We also have new set coming out next week. Oh, that's right. That's we right. We have RB1. So yep. I have a new set, quote unquote. When does that, what day of the week does that come out? Friday, 29th, I believe. Oh, I'm gone so, that day. Well, we'll figure it out. We might get cards a little bit early. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have that. There's archetypes in there. You got your. I know you. You. You're, you built Gammon before. Yeah, I built Gammon. So but the, you have so many more options now to put yeah, in that. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. That would be a lot of testing, but that could be Gammon, Jellymon, and Goromon. All those cards look great. The lines look great. The Sukumon the stuff. Monzimon. Yeah, the, the Sukumon, Sukumon stuff is really like, strong. There's a lot of stuff that can be built at RB1. I am curious if any of the cards from RB1, the newer stuff, are going to influence changes at play at uh regionals not really thinking yeah, it is but I don't, I don't know um from what i i don't remember uh was it proximamon or proximon yeah, serious yeah i don't i don't remember those hitting any crazy japan so meta either. nerves i don't um, think so the, the rabbit stuff it doesn't it looks fun yeah, yeah i mean we're definitely we already have people that are going to build yeah rabbits absolutely, and, absolutely uh we have people that are going to build jelly because there are a lot more of those cards now, so it's not just like put in every Jellymon card there is. You actually yep. have a little bit of variation. But I don't know how competitive they're going to yeah. be if we're entering a very competitive space with Shine Greymons and War Greymons and yep. Bloom Lords. Security like how control. Security yeah, control. Yeah, like, yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to play Does us. it have outs to all those? Uh, I it's don't know. definitely interesting. So Not that I think it's going to change of what my idea of what I'm going to play, but I'm definitely yeah. curious, right? It definitely influenced how much we're going to buy. <laughs> it did, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, yeah, I yeah. think a case opening of RB1 would be pretty dry. I don't even think you guys would want to watch that, to it's be honest. It's just so. like, hey, another HPD, we'll, another we'll, blinding ring. We'll probably do a box opening for the channel. We'll do an opening, yeah. But it's not going to be a full case. I don't no, think. I think we'll probably do like three boxes each or something. Yeah, It'd be cool if we pull the ghost, but I... What's the ghost again of this? It's set? the serious... It's the level seven the level gamma. Seven. Is it the proxy or the... Which one's seven? Proxy. Proxima. No, it's it's whatever the seven is, but yeah, it has yeah, yeah. another alternate background, just like the I first modes did. Okay. Um, but I, I mean, I've watched that. gameplay of that deck. It looks like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the deck looks great. I love yeah. the Game of stuff. That stuff's awesome. I'm glad that they are going with that, and they did a great job building that architecture. Yeah, you just build that deck and put Heaven's Judgment in it, and you just you nuke anything that's like twenty nine thousand. Bam. Yeah, but yeah, it could be fun. We'll see. We'll see. I mean. There's a lot of a lot of old cards in there, which could be cool. I mean, I'm happy that the I'm set's coming the out because I'm excited. Cards are getting foiled, and yeah, I mean, we get the, we get the memory boost too, right? Not the not the new arts. We don't get the new arts. The, no. Oh, I'm not buying any RB1. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the new arts, I believe, are oh, where are they? They're like future box toppers or something. Okay. I know that training cards. I think they're the box toppers for EX5. Don't quote me on that. Okay, okay. But I, but I'm, the training cards are box toppers for BT14. I do know that. Got it. And that is going to be huge for the meta. That's going to change a when, lot of stuff. When does BT14 come out again? After regionals. Okay, good. So yeah. we don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Comes Woo! out like the week before Thanksgiving, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so we're good. The I don't, have to, I don't have to learn a whole new meta right no. beforehand. Nope. You just got to learn Rabbits, Jellymon, New Sukumon, and Gammon. Yeah, yeah, that's, yep. that's the only new in inclusions into the meta. Do I play Sukumon down there, guys? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not. <laughs> not doing that again. Not playing a big <laughs> tournament with Sukumon. Not again. As much fun as that was, uh, and I don't regret my deck for that Mox Valley event, but I don't want to do that again. Yeah, no. We're, we're, we're being <laughs> gritty. We're, we're being trying to be yeah. serious card game people. I've been playing more You've on been Discord doing, yeah. than I ever have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's funny because um, I tried to watch some of you guys' games and get in and participate, or not, like, actually play because I didn't have my stuff with me and I was overseas, but the time difference was too big to where I couldn't yeah. actually get in and watch you guys. Well, you were involved. in the future. You could have told us who won. Future. There you <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah, no, it's, it was, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of refining. If you guys go back and look at my black, yellow security control list, um, it's evolved a lot since like then. 30 different iterations at this Oh, I've changed it so many times. But you changed today. I came over here and we started talking about your deck, and you had cards in there I didn't see you have like yesterday in it. And I was like, "Oh, 
Because I'm playing every day now, and every day I'm kind of like one more this <laughs> way, and then they're all micro tweaks. It's like how that's many? Good. That's a uh, good spot. To let's be. go up one holy wave and down one. You know, that's like, what I'm saying. Like stuff like this would be cool for content for the channel. I mean, now you guys are involved with our brainstorm session here, <laughs> but it's like you know you could talk. I don't know, not a blog or whatever, but like you know, be testing gameplay footage, recording. I don't know. Yeah, we got to figure out something to do because I think it would be cool to experience or to document like our our journey or whatever. And uh, guys, we have YouTube Live set up, unlike the Mox Valley event. We tried it. Yeah. We 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 were we, <laughs> yeah. we were so excited because we were driving to Mox, yeah. and we're like, we're gonna do like a live session and talk about decks we're gonna see and all this stuff. And it was just technical difficulties, so we're set up. We're probably not gonna obviously live stream our fl our flight. Yeah, but we, you know we can do something maybe where we talk about. I something. can set it up so I can live stream the Discord testing. That could be interesting. You don't have to like I don't know. It's Let us know what you want to see. Yeah, what do we, you guys want to see? We we wanna we wanna do something. We wanna uh, get some some something involving our regional testing on the channel. Yeah, that's good content because I do think deck profile videos are gonna be a little dry in the next week or two. Well, you know, until just, we get RB one, then we'll until we get RB one out, and yeah. we get the regionals testing because. I mean, should I make ten jank decks or should I try to actually win a win a regional? Right? Yeah, like, yeah. come on, guys. <laughs> well, I think it is a good week for you to come back because we got we me and Basil took care of a lot of the reveals, but now you get to do the fun ones. I get to do the fun ones. Yes, we get to the do arts. the alternate arts for BT fifteen. Uh, where do you want to start? Um, you start with the first one. This this uh, Angel Wilmot. I think Ace? I want to start there because yeah. I really like. The, the the treatment that they're doing to the ace card. Mm -hmm. And I think we all knew they were going to do the ace cards as alternate arts yeah. because that's the idea. It really gives me those Pokemon um, GX, X, V star, V yeah. type vibes where it's mm -hmm. like, it's a very powerful card that's going to be used. Give it a great art. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect example. The Angela Mon Ace. Great artwork. It's, it's really going to be interesting with all the ace stuff in the future. And uh, having messed with ace... How much are people going to actually use this? Gonna be Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, then jump over Could to you the imagine gob. hard playing an Angemon, a Angemon Ace for four and then Angemon X Antibody for like zero? Recover one. That's just yeah. like, that's yeah. that's crazy to me. It's going to be wild. It's, it's going to be the Wild West. <coughs> uh, let's start with this Gobumon. So, pretty cool. We Is this the, the best Gobumon art to alt art we've ever gotten? Uh, Gobumon X I thought was way better than this. Does, that doesn't count. That's a different issue. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's pretty this good. This one's really good. I yeah. really like the this Texture will be great. A uh, little Sunamon down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very I mean, cool. It's good. Oh, then the Gatomon. Gatomon's nice. Yeah. That one's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. these, like, soft treatments. You know, they're not quite as soft as, like, a Koki, but... Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <I can laughs> they're, they're, like, crisp, you know? Yeah. Crisp yeah, and yeah, to yeah. the point. Like, really nice. This is what I think of when I think of Digimon, right? Because it's, like, you kind of want the artwork that you experience directly from the screen and... Well, yeah. I mean, if you look at the Izzy on the next one. Literally, yep. It's it's great. I don't know how I feel about the blue sky backgrounds on all of these. Know. I'm not a fan of these this tamer treatment. We've been getting this tamer treatment since, like, what, the BT-11 or BT-12? I, I do like it. I do think it's important to, mm. uh, to showcase Izzy. Izzy was always my favorite character in the original Digidestined, and I love the Tentum online, and I want more support than even what we got out of BT-15. Yeah. But I do like this artwork. Just... Because the tamer, the blue sky thing again, I'm not 100 percent sure of. Yeah, I feel like they could have done that a little bit better, but I feel like we've seen these artworks almost before because the other yeah. ones look so much like it. Right, right. Because right, like, look at the Kari, same thing, same yeah, treatment. Exactly. Yeah. They're all they're all the same. Which I mean, it's cool when they have a uniform theme, but I kind of like it more when it's the color of the 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 deck on the yeah. background and it has the crest and. I don't know. Look at the drastic difference in the next one. You yes. got the Marvin. Like, look like at this. This, this, this is, is perfect. Amazing. This is um, this card. I'm. Um, I didn't even get to talk about this. I know. How good this tamer is for all the decks. Like, yeah. I cannot wait to get Raidenmon put together. Oh, and it's such a good looking. You card, know, man. this is the direction yeah. I think Digimon needs to go. Yes, Modern, this. crisp, like detailed. You know, yeah, it's so good. I, yeah. I'm really excited for this. The this whole really pop. adding this to you know your Machine Dramon decks yeah. and like. Oh, it's gonna be so good to have to see these down there. Yeah, and then more soft arts. You got yeah. Matt. Yeah, more Matt. More yeah, Matt. It's, I mean, it's okay. It's too safe. I, I don't know. It's yeah, just... safe is a good word. Like yeah. it was like uh, we need an alt art for Matt. Someone 
draw a map. Okay, cool. Throw some texture on it. Throw a Gobamon on there. You yeah. know, it's you know, it's like somebody took the images and just copied paste them instead of like doing like some cool art or something. Yeah. I don't know. Check out the Mega Dramon, man. That Look. thing is gorgeous. This is amazing. That's what I'm talking this about. This thing is so cool. Like, why? 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 Like, all the cards in the game should just be this type of art. It's crazy art. how many different style variations there are. You know, I between... definitely think it's a good thing to yeah. have different style variations and to have. Different tastes because if somebody does prefer other tastes, you should be able to give them what they want. Yeah. And it's not like it hurts anybody else. No, I right? think they you prove know? that with all the EX1 <laughs> alt arts, or they're just like, I think that set might have more alt arts than any other set in the game. I think you're just right. Just because they continually, even it's, though there was cards you didn't even really play. Yeah. You know, they're just like, yeah, eh, you guys don't want an Andrew. You don't want to stare at that Andrew Mon. I mean, some of them could come back. You know what I'm saying? Like the Greymon um, from EX1 uh, is making a big comeback it is playing the comeback. tie. Yep. You know, and it, it was it was a great card when it came out in the first place too. So it's yeah, it's tough. The Gabumon that searches Tamer is pretty good. Uh, yeah, and then check out the look at the Melga man. I think so. Like look at all the missiles. I Are we gonna so. get all the guns and missiles in America? I hope so. Ooh, let us know what you think in the comments because I mean I think we should because uh, Gun Gundramon didn't his guns didn't get seen. the smoke did. Just like something like the bullet or whatever. I think, so. Yeah. I, I mean, technically, none of these are bullets. <laughs> they're rockets. No, they're and rockets missiles. and missiles and of a fictitious wolf. I mean, well, I, don't I think know. the back leg there might be shooting some machine guns. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. I mean, it does a great job showing what the what the Digimon is, uh, and it's this artwork is just so cool. Though. It's great, man. This is this is a top tier card for sure. It's, like, show me some, uh, show me a, a Digimon show with this level of animation, and I will watch that. I think I think there is a market out there for that, and I think a lot of people feel that way, and I don't think it'll ever get delivered. Because it's not just Digimon. It's yeah. every franchise. Yeah. If you had some sort of style like this where you took it to the next level, maybe raise the intro audience age up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Right, yeah. you know? And, like, and then people would be really into it. And I think Digimon Seekers, which is where those Mega Dramon yeah. and the other Tamers that we like are kind of exploring a little bit older audience. Yeah. But it's With not a SOC show. Stuff, it's not yeah. like an anime that people can watch, yeah. right? Like like you said, I want to watch Metal Garumon do some cool things like yeah. this, man. Well, it's like check out the next one. I forgot what her name is, but... Yeah, the Ryumon Tamer. Yeah, more of the Deep Police stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Got like that Jill Valentine kind of thing going on, you know? They're doing a great job. The High Commander Mon in the back looks great. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of my favorite recent Digimon we've had announced. High Commander. You think Deep Brigade makes a big comeback? I think people wanted to make a big comeback. And, mm -hmm. and I think people, I think a lot of people are going to try, myself included. I love the D Brigade stuff and I love that play style and I think it's an awesome deck. Um, I just have a feeling the way everything else is in the meta that it's. Because the problem is, is they keep changing the keywords too. So they didn't like the old uh, Commander Mon stuff doesn't have SOC in it. it has that's the D thing Brigade. is you're, you're going to pick a, you're going to pick a lane. Yeah. And I think if you're going to play Commander Mon D Brigade stuff, you're not going to put in all of the Digi Police stuff mm -hmm. into it. You're going to play the tamers that benefit you. And mm -hmm. one of the new commander mods, I think the high commander mod benefits the deck too. Yeah. But I think people, and this is, I'm guilty of this too with any deck I build, don't worry. <laughs> Where you're going to take commander mod and you're like, okay, how do I digivolve commander mod into the new brig mm -hmm. Right? Just like how people would want to digivolve into the new dark dramon from EX3. It, that's not how the deck works. Right. The deck plays a bunch of commander mods and rushes. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do, you know? And then you have your uh, BT3. Three Dark Tramon that just hard plays for really BT four, four. BT four, yeah. excuse me, BT four Dark Tramon that you plays have with Rush, with Rush. Yeah. and that's kind of your top end, right? And you stay there, but so I I don't know. It's it's going to be a good question. I think that's a great question. I think we are going to see some representation of D Brigade. I think there are. I think if people either commit to one or the other, you either commit to Commander Mon Rush or you commit to building stacks with uh, Digi Police. I don't think if you try to do both, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, so check out the Ryudamon to go this with that. This thing is sweet. Really cool. I, I can't wait to this see. This thing is sweet. I mean, yeah. it's kind of interesting, and I was trying to figure out why the Ryudamon line that they gave us is black and green. Mm. Couldn't figure it out. Still can't figure it out. I don't well, know why. Well, it's going to come it's... off Digimon Seekers, right? So there'll probably be some kind of reference in there. But why? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about the specific card color. Like, why is it black and green? Why isn't it just pure black? I don't know. You know, like what what exactly is the green for? So I'm very curious if you guys know what or if you guys have seen some really cool combos about what the green is going to be used for. Let me know because it's something that I uh, get to be able to figure out. Hmm. We got one more. We got the Wear Garuruman Ace. <laughs> Another awesome, just mean. I have one complaint about this card. 
Ooh, what's Only, the and this is me being a, just stupid. Okay. It's the color coming off of his Kaiser nail. <laughs> it's not supposed to be it's, orange. It, it's where's the like pinkish, purplish. Oh, like from the original. From art. the original yeah. artwork, and like yeah. when he does his Kaiser nail attack. Yeah. Like this is like the more like realistic. Obviously, you wouldn't have energy coming off a of wolf's claws. Yeah. And to be realistic, but you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it should like a missed opportunity to not do that the pinkish color. Other than that, this card is amazing. Pretty good. It's, it's amazing. Pretty good. Like, Rugarumon was such such a cool design. So that's what we got so far. Now this is gonna come out on Friday, so I'm curious to see if what we're, we're gonna, gonna if we're gonna get that Apocalypse by Friday. I feel like the Apocalypse Altar is gonna be the last, the last one, probably. Gotta be. It's gotta be the last. I don't know. Oh man, that deck looks so wild. I'm so excited to build. It. I know you, you guys are. did a good job talking about it too, All and right. I and it was like I wish I was there to. I know it was like your jam, but I was like, no, man, we waited that's... as long as we could. But as soon as Apocalypse hit, the, on hit me, the reveals, man. it's like, well, we gotta talk about. You it. have to talk about it because that's what people. That's what the people want. I'm gonna... Four colors. <laughs> Put it all together, Jeff. I dare you. Oh, yeah. You know I will. That's going to uh, be an interesting one to make consistent, I think. Yes, and I'm looking forward to the challenge incredibly. That, I'm looking forward to that deck, and I'm looking forward to uh, uh, Huang Long and the, the Sovereigns and the Devas so much. Yeah. Looking forward to those decks like crazy. I'm pumped. Yeah. Yeah, they announced, um, they announced that Nationals, which is next year, is going to be, I think, the EX5 format. I want to say. Yeah, the Animal Coliseum. Yeah, so we got Lots three. If you count RB1, you got three more sets. We have the, we also have the starter decks coming out next month. I forgot about that. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, yeah. make a big impact on the meta, too. Yep. Because yep, especially, yeah. that, that black end for war, or for war Grey players is very strong. Yeah, so I can make my uh, Ace Zoo deck that much better. <laughs> With all those pieces. No, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Nationals or regionals testing. Regionals testing. Sorry. Don't get sidetracked. I hope uh, you guys like that deck. But yeah, no, there's there's going to be... So we'll, we'll get some deck profiles for that too because we have um, some people at, at Locals that are very excited, some uh, very diehard Wargrave players that are very excited for uh, a, finally a strong uh, black end for yeah. uh, Wargrave and Black Wargrave. Because oh, you get what a lot of Wargrave support. players need. They have it all. They need everything, man. They need everything. Oh. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. There's some cool options, and in both of the the purple one has some cool options too. Um, but yeah, no, there's some cool D Digivolve options in the in the starter deck. I was looking through them last night. I'm not so. ready for Wurgarumon to overtake everything, <laughs> or, or Metal Garumon. Melga, and, yeah. and, and, uh... Just play it. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's gonna, if you're gonna take it over, just yeah, play right. It. Yeah, you can't beat him. Join him. Pretty much. But so you've had a lot of time to think about your card of the week. Yes, I've had three whole weeks. Should basically. we jump into it? Yeah. I guess uh, maybe I'll go first. Okay. Because I, I stole this one from you. Because I got a one rant. of your very p- far past rant videos. Uh, so I've been building the hell out of security control. And uh, I came across Keenan Cryer. Yeah. Um, in your Ravemon deck. Did. Yeah. And I never even thought about it because I was like, "Oh, that's a tribal. That's a tribal card. Like, why? Yeah, exactly. Why would I even look at that card? Exactly. And then you look at it, and I was looking at taking uh, changing options, and I just put the Mimi, or I just got all my event pack Mimis to put in, and I was playing, and I was like, "Man, this is a really tough four up to play, yeah. just because it doesn't do anything other than just cool. Your scare, your options are cheaper. It's not a very option heavy meta with the you know a couple exceptions." But um, so they kind of, they're just kind of lackluster. They're your purple source that you play for two and they just chill. And then um, one of our viewers sent me a list on Discord for his his version of Security Digimon. Like, yeah. remember the deck I did? Yep. Uh, yep. My Security Control Security Digimon. And he played the Keenan Crier. And I was like, it's BT13. Um, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I read the card and I just kept thinking about it. And I was like, <laughs> that card would be amazing in this meta because if you don't know what it does, it's a three cost to play purple Digimon. On play, your opponent gets to choose. They either discard an option or a tamer, or you gain a memory and draw a card. So really strong. And if you Does watch, that trigger when it comes out of security too, right? It does. So it can pass uh, turn. It can draw you cards. And and that's if you don't know about if you haven't played security control decks, they're fun. People don't like you when you play them, but um, <laughs> one of the issues that security control has is draw. Yeah. So being able to recur a card when you play a tamer is very strong. Playing it for potentially two, which is exactly what a Mimi costs. And then uh, on your opponent's turn, whenever a Digimon's played by effect, you can suspend it to gain a memory. So I've been having trouble with the Royal Knights matchup because that Hourglass deck that just 
as soon as it starts, it doesn't stop. As soon as they get their Great Omnimon, they can yeah. just win. But typically what I've noticed with them and red hybrids is they typically swing around zero or one memory. So having the Keenans on board has been really, really strong for me. Um, with the red hybrids, they don't play Digimon by effects, but they play Digimon by effects out of my security. So you can pass turn that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing card in testing. And if you haven't tried it, even in like normal purple yellow security control, I recommend you, you give it a shot. Mimis are strong. Don't get me wrong. They're fine. I still run two. This just goes to show, guys, you need to try as many decks as you can. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a fun deck, if it's a jank deck. Put something together, try it so that way you can experience cards that are outside of your comfort zone or yep. see things that could be useful when you are testing against your friends and you go, Man, if I had this one type of thing in my deck, oh wait, I found this in this obscure jank tribal deck I tried mm -hmm. a month ago. Yeah. Right. You know, so No, it's been a lot of fun. And the best part is, <laughs> I don't know from experience, you can get a play set of box topper Keenan's for half the cost of one event pack Mimi. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a great budget, budget option, too. So Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. And uh, what about you? So this is going to be the first time I'm slightly negative with my card of the week. And this is, this is going to be a funny, funny card of the week. And this comes from a good place. Uh, my card of the week is Grey Knight Spawn. Okay. Grey Knight Spawn. So I'm sitting there trying... I, I have time. I'm in, I'm in my hotel for like three weeks over in Taiwan. And I'm like, okay, let's start getting some, some regional less put together. Let's start figuring out what I want to play for Blue Flare. And Great Knights Mon never once popped up, I promise, on my list, right? Yeah. You know, but there, there are cards that I wanted to put in that I ended up taking out. Like uh, some people play the Decker package. Some people don't in Blue mm. Flare, right? And some people like the Metal, Metal Greymon X. Some people don't play any of the new Greymon. So I'm sitting here looking and at the same time as i build a serious deck i have a couple other tab opens on my computer where i take all the bad ideas that or jank ideas or combo ideas that would be really fun to explore but yeah. don't necessarily belong in my serious list yeah and i put them into another list and i work on a couple deck lists at the same time especially with digimon card.dev if you guys are not using digimon card.dev <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys are by now but if we have recent viewers or those that just don't know about this website, it's amazing. Go check it out. Um, I just can't figure out what Grey Knight's Mon's purpose is. And I wanted to use this <laughs> opportunity to ask your guys' opinion. Is it the worst super rare or that we've ever had? Mm. I'm sitting there looking at Grey Knight's Mon, and I want this thing to work. And I was like, okay, if I digivolve into it, can I get its effect going on? It's a five cost Evo. Jesus. And it's only a 12K body. Yeah. And it doesn't give you anything when you Digivolve, basically. It does nothing. You have to play it. You have to hard play it for the Digicross cost of a little bit, maybe four less with the Metal Greymon and the Dark Knight. So still an eight cost. Yeah. Barely does anything. Doesn't have armor purge. Yeah. And then it, it sure it could play a Dark Knight and a Metal Grey, but then you have to completely make a bad deck. To put Dark Knight and Greymon, Metal, yeah, Metal yeah. Greymon in the deck. So I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, has anybody made a Grey Knight's list? So I went down this rabbit hole mm. of trying to figure out, <laughs> is there anything you could do with this card? So I have to ask you guys, if you guys, what is the worst super rare you've ever seen yeah. in this game? What is a card that you want to work or you wish did something more? Or, you know, and honestly, what deck have you guys come up with for Grey Knight's Mon? If you guys have a if list, if you guys yeah. have a list, send. I want to see this because I'm my mind is just blown because the artwork is incredible. I love the idea that they had this cool like manga exclusive yeah. character of these two factions joining together, and like for chosen ones, sure, I'll put a one of Grey Knights Mon in my Blue Flare chosen ones list. But I don't play that format anymore because yeah. I just haven't had the time and stuff. Yeah. So I'm just like blown away by Grey Knights Mon, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I spent way too long trying to figure anything out to do with. It's like the Bagra Army Dark Knight stuff where you're just yeah, like, like, how are these supposed to go together? Yeah, yeah. And where I, I've the seen, room to I put have two seen tribes some together? decent text with the Bagra where they use it to like, you know, especially with the Dark Knight that gives a security attack plus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I've seen some use out of the Bagra. It can be decent removal. Well, just as a top end. But it's but like, like it's trying not, to mix them. It's yeah. not worse than Grey Knight's Mon. And if <laughs> yeah. you guys know us and if you guys are a fan of the channel, I'm sorry I'm being negative compared to normal. <laughs> But I was just so blown away by this card that I was like, I have to talk about it. 
<laughs> like, can I don't know if in the future we're gonna get more something to do with Grey Knights Mon that could make yeah. it better. But it's a five cost Evo for <laughs> none. You get nothing out of it. How, why would you make him a five cost Evo? Like, I don't understand. Like, I guess he, we'll see. Four was too overpowered. The meta would have been broken if he cost four to Evo. So he <laughs> has to cost five and he's only a 12K. They Guys, just I don't artwork. understand. Yeah. So is that we'll the see. worst super rare Digimon card? I, I, I will say Digimon card because there's some bad tame. Yeah. yeah. Is it the worst super rare? I got to know your opinion. Uh, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's my All card right. of the past couple weeks. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up for this week, guys. Yeah. We're going to go to Locals. We are, and uh, I apologize. It's my fault. We're not going to do a Locals recap. I am way too tired for my sleep schedule messed up, so we are not going to record when we get back. But if but, you want to know how we did... We'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. We can talk about it. You can reach out to me on Discord, whatever, and we'll let you know how we did. And uh, I'm going to play my TryHard deck tonight, and so we'll see All how right. the testing goes. We'll see you guys next time.